a very good uh, or a fantastic morning. The objective is that uh, all of you know that we have uh, transited the name, whereas everything else remains the same. But there are some changes in this world which are happening. If we have to look at who are going to be our competitors, if at all there are any competitors, they are going to be the people who also have the knowledge as much as us or who can acquire it as much as us. And therefore, what is that which can differentiate H&A? Looking at that, we have looked at our traditional strength. If you observe, every time we speak about foundation building. So today's class or whatever discourse discussion is on foundation strengthening. If our foundations are strong, then we will be able to grow in spite of various headwinds which we face. It may come from foreign uh, consultants. It may come from various types of uh, scams which are happening across the world. Earlier, India used to be a bedrock of scams. Now the foreign countries have become bedrock of scams. Of course, they have been borrowing from us only. And, uh, you know, using that without any returns. It is free money for them. Billions of dollars. They keep printing and do not have a backup for it. And those billions of dollars are given at zero interest rates. These type of things can collapse various financial markets. And I think uh, we are seeing some a very big buildup in the case of that two banks, SVC, SVC and uh, your uh, credit sways. This is a very serious issue. It's almost uh, as big as Enron or as big as uh, you know, the collapse of Anderson who were consulting at that time in this. And they have a lot of clout. You can't imagine how they are. Of course, Anderson is no more. Enron is no more, I think. Now, but these type of things are going to come because the advanced nations are not doing too well. And when they are not doing too well, they squeeze, they take unethical ways out. I would like uh, to start this session with where we are today as HND. I would request uh, Shilpi to take this particular slide. I will change the slide, uh, Shilpi, as you require. Thank you, sir. Uh, very good morning to all. So I I've got the privilege to get you through the first slide of this very wonderful session. Right. So as Sir said, yes, we are doing a status check. That is where we are today, where we are. OK, so uh, we are around 14 branches today and all our branches which are more than five years old. We are known as and perceived as knowledgeable, competent professionals, professionals who have expertise, knowledge in the area that we are in. Right. And believe me, any person who's more than four years, who has been more than four years in our firm also enjoys this kind of a status. He is known as a knowledgeable, competent person. So this has been validated at many places. It could be the institute that we attend any sessions or be it the department or even the residential courses that we attend. All this, this view that I'm talking of gets validated at all these places and many more as well. OK, and uh, the next aspect is updating and skilling. We as a firm are focused on updating and skilling and all of us are aware of this. And we should also be knowing, you know, that this is something that we talk even for ourselves. That is the leaders, the partners and for the employees. And I'll tell you one one more thing, you know, that, you know, the culture of our firm is such that a person who is not focused on this updating and skilling is a person who will feel out of place, is a person who will be who will feel so overwhelmed that I have seen at times where 
few people have left our organization because they are not able to cope up with this kind of things that is the culture of the firm certain places certain workplaces if you see it is the politics which overwhelms them you know and they are just not able to stay in such an environment ours is the other way around we are talking of a culture of updating and skilling and a person who is not able to do something of this sort is feels out of place and finally either gets into doing it or leaves so updating and skilling is a very important part of our culture itself another aspect is that there is a good flow of talent to our offices and uh, this is because you know we get people who have the attitude and willingness of learning they know this firm is for knowledge and gaining expertise exposure so that is the kind of people people that we attract uh and we develop that is how it works okay. next is coming to our client side of it so we have a good flow good reasonable to good flow of clients through the door we don't do any of any of those marketing gimmicks anything which is not permitted but still we have grown by clients coming through the door major portion of our practice it has grown through that where clients just walk in without us doing much rather accepting those few things that we do sharing knowledge trying to make law simple and easy in india okay and even the present free entity structure that we have created is not to disrupt any of this we are still going to be what we are what we were this has been this three tier structure has been done only to enable us to get into newer uh service areas that's it so even today we remain in the same mindset next we are talking of flow of work through reference our initial phase and even today major a good amount of work which comes through is reference for us the brand name which we are talking of every one of us is aware of it hirgange is a brand we have got a brand name for ourselves and yes it is it has gained pace in the pace in the past decade and it's going to grow much faster in present and the future as well next we are talking of satisfaction for some stakeholders stakeholders could be the society we are looking at the nation we are looking at department small people small practitioners through collaborations so there is contribution from our side to all of them so we are not looking only at our own pond we are looking at something much wider and bigger as well next aspect about our top line as i already said in spite of being ethical in spite of you know not running behind work rather than work flowing through our door by way of word of mouth and reference still there has been a reasonable growth in our top line across all the branches that we have next is a totally connected world two aspects uh, in this which i would want to put is one is there is nothing is a secret information today is just available free and very easily through the click of a button you can access any kind of information another aspect which all of us should remember is that you know any person we meet in this world we will be connected with that person maybe just by four links or five links as we see in linkedin you see he is the second connection the third connection the fifth connection so recently when i had been to one of the sessions there uh, this person gave a reference of uh, a website the oracle of bacon where you could put the name of any two actors an actor can be from hollywood another actor can be a bhojpuri actor you put the names of both these actors and you will see what i saw there in that session was they were connected just by three links so any person that we meet we will we will at the max be connected only by five or six links at the max so today's world we it's a totally connected world that we are in so uh, over to you madhukar sir anything you would like to add on this uh, slide so the point which uh, shilpi made point number 7 why did we put the word average because our clients are normally delighted with us who are the 
who we perceive as the biggest stakeholder, but stakeholders are different. Client is one of the stakeholders. I see that we have a good uh, satisfaction of employees. So clients is very good. Employees is good. Then which are the other stakeholders we can think of? Can you say and give your evaluation? Anybody? You can put it in chat or you can, uh, you know, unmute and speak. Three, three minutes will be available for others to add. I would also like you to give your comments on the last point, and that's the reason why we are having this session. Things have changed. And the last point which uh, should be mentioned that nothing is a secret and you can uh, everything is click away. All the things we built, our books, for example, our training and knowledge which we have built uh, has been partially diluted or substantially diluted because of this particular everything is available world. Chat GPT is there. So many things are there. Artificial intelligence is there. So I would like you all to also add something to the initial uh, sharing by Shilpi. Anybody wants to share something on this? <clears throat> OK, so we go to the next one. I wanted to see where we are. You know, this is the risk. The nine is the risk which we run. And uh, wherever it's reasonable, we can make it good, excellent. So that is this opportunity we have. And of course, we have a lot of strengths which we'll look at also. What are we trying to see here? You know, we say this world is superficial. They are ordinary. And then there is this extraordinary cream of the world. The trendsetters. The thought leaders. So between let's understand what is the difference because all of us would like to be extraordinary each and every one of us on this call. If I were to look at firms, compare the firms in India, professional firms in India, 99.5% would possibly be looking at individual profit maximization. This is what 99.5% of the firms in India will be doing. Whereas we are a bit different. We say that we will give up our share and allow youngsters to become the future partners. And you have seen at very young age we have had partners. Earlier we had no system. Now we have a particular system in which evaluation is done and it's not automatic. And in this evaluation, the biggest weightage is given for the alignment to the vision, not to the billing or not to the charisma of the person. There are, of course, very, very important other aspects which include the gaining of knowledge and the training of the team. These are very good, very big. So we're still going on doing this sharing of our wealth with others. If you look at other firms, hardly you'll see even 10% of the diversity what we have. Most of the firms uh, will only have family members taking away the major stake in the firm. We have built in some automatic checks. For example, our partnership deed has a point that when one retires, they give up their share. They don't get even one rupee for giving up their share. I was an exception. And I would have liked to go, but partners felt I should still continue. So I have given up only 80% of my share. 20% I still retain and I'll retain for a long time. So what has happened? I started this firm, but next year my share in the common profits will be less than 80% of my partners. Other than the junior most partners who will be less than me, the people who just got in, 
most of them will be above my share, my share in this profit. So that is the important point here. We trust and encourage employees, leaders, partners without differentiation. We have had partners coming from very poor backgrounds. We have had partners coming from, uh, uh, I don't know which castes and all that. We don't have any differentiation there at all. North, South, no differentiation. Luckily, we have got partners who are complimenting us. I remember when I started, I got partners who were hum humble and who had a fantastic memory, both of which I lacked. Then we got partner uh, from in the face of Sudhir, who was supposed to take the first flight, but he is in Pune. Right now he's speaking. So he came in the form of a person who understands finances. So we started doing financially well. Otherwise, we were doing very well as far as our name was concerned. Most of the firms, they keep the information to themselves. They do not expose the employees to insights. Here is the opposite. You know, we everything is open here. We have a Tuesday session. We have a Sunday, Saturday knowledge management session in which Insights across India are shared with you all. I think it's done once in a month. We are also sharing with outside the firm through our answers to so many people, each of you. Uh, maybe we have 100 people who are consulting without restraint to all their friends and etc. We also write a lot of articles, books, we are part of seminars, invited. We also conduct a lot of seminars where others don't conduct those type of topics. We have certificate courses. This is what we are. Most clients will keep their clients in the dark, whereas we do the opposite. We share updates, cases, train them. Even at the offer stage, we are very transparent. I remember uh, two years back, Manu said, the greatest advantage perceived by the market there is that we are so transparent. Everything is clear right in the beginning, whereas others don't even quote. They say Dekha jayega and all, then later there is a dispute, uh, all that happens. We have uh, also, many people take excessive time to resolve issues, delay the thing so that they can get longer fees, and longer time, whereas we resolve issues at quick time. Day before yesterday or something, yeah, I think, uh, yeah. We had uh, the educational institutions of Karnataka coming in, and there were so many of them. There were 10 people in the room, I think. And they, uh, it could have been done on phone, but they came. Because for them, it was a very big thing. In the first five minutes, we gave them the solution. They had 250 affiliated colleges and notices had started coming. But how we solved it is we said, we'll give you a notice template. Please use this. Rupa will be uh, doing this and the template will be shared with you. You give it to all the 250. We don't want to be in. Are you seeing what we missed out on? In normal course, they would have said, let the colleges meet us. Let them give their balance sheet. Then we'll do cut paste only. We said, why we will do cut paste? You only do cut paste. And we said, we'll go for a writ. You will not have to pay the tax at all. That's it over. That whole big uh, rigmarole which they were thinking they have to go through was avoided by us giving a simple solution. Whether this solution will work, 99% it should work. Again, 1% we are never sure. We focus on value rather than looking at val value to self, we look at value for others. Most of the firms, they look at how, how much fees they can get, how fast they can get, how many referrals they can get. They also think that they have a right to be paid. Whereas for us, we have looked at philosophy of giving value to the client. Most of the firms in India work grow inwards. They hardly collaborate with anybody because they are afraid of losing the client. 
Whereas we, we follow this win, 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 win formula, four wins. The first win is for the person with whom we collaborate, like Singhi and company. The second is that the client has to win for sure. This client of Singhi has to win. It doesn't mean that if I uh, collaborate with uh, Singhi, we'll charge double and client will not get the service at reasonable cost. Then we look at the other win, which is the people in both the firms. Like if you see this particular uh, workshop, what we are having or not workshop, you can call it more a seminar. Here also we have invited Singhi people. I don't know if any of them are there, but we have invited them. And the last win, of course, is us. Even the government can win in this because we don't give bad advice. So tax authorities also can win. And this is the formula to cooperate and collaborate. We have networked with more than 500 chartered accountants. The old bigger locations or the older locations have done this in a bigger way. There is a thinking, you know, all of you know Nike, the shoe company. They had this do it right. You know, that was a slogan they had on all their boxes for many, many years. That's why that sign also their brand is also a tick mark and many fellow many people felt that's the way the way of servicing people do your work right but today you're doing the work right there are 100 people who are doing how do you differentiate you differentiate by your value addition as your primary so we are in this service orientation we are there we exist to serve Incidentally, we'll also earn money. It doesn't mean that we don't earn good money. I think we earn very good money. Hardly there are any firms where they can boast of partners uh, taking home as young partners taking home as much as our office. This was supposed to be taken by Rupa. I might have taken a little more time because I think she was better prepared. We'll look at the next slide. Ravi will speak on this. I think he's traveling, but he should be able to manage. <coughs> Over to yes, Ravi. Yes. yes, sir. Am I audible? Yeah, you are. Yes, sir. Sorry, actually, I've got one uh, community event, social event. So, but uh, so uh, as Madhukar, sir, as uh, you know, explain on certain points, I would just take it forward. Uh, uh, I would talk on differentiators of H and A. Uh, when I say differentiators, how are we different from others? You know, over all these years, what all things that we have done uh, to have that uh, differentiation? First is building a legacy in twelve years. When I say twelve years, of course, the legacy has been built over last thirty-five years. More specifically, in last ten, twelve, fifteen years. You know, we have uh, grown exponentially, you know, had Hyderabad branch, NCR, Mumbai, Pune, and all the branches. Yeah. So uh, there's a difference between profession and business. In profession, uh, the individual matter a lot. You know, the individual centricism is always there. So th there are many firms, many organizations in profession. They are very successful, but on an individual centric basis. But to build a legacy such that whether the individual is there or not, the value system still continues. I would say that is something, the crucial point. And we are very proud that we have built a legacy uh, and that which is going to continue over decades to go forward. We have been recognized for these you know, uh, particular things. I can proudly say that uh, we have like 14 branches and the biggest indirect tax firm in India, the biggest. The, the uniqueness that we carry, I would say uh, that is something uh, I have not seen a firm, uh, any other firm who, who, who have this cap capabilities or capacities to cater pan-India basis on a niche topic of uh, indirect taxes. What is very important is to look at value addition and to look at value as a money. Madhukar sir's philosophy, I would say, there is one uh, thing which he once told me uh, and that has gone deep into my uh, value system 
is to be a net giver net giver so what is this concept is that in any relationship be it with a client be it with you know our family friends we always take something and we always give something that's how any relationship is all about but then if we make sure that we are the net giver in any relationship we would always be respected we would always be valued and this is what exactly i would say value addition so when we go to client our focus is always how i can add value to him for whatever fee that we are charging can how can i make it 10x for whatever that we are charging or 100x you know the problem solving approach many of people say in indirect tax it's only about compliance and that is where i i say that you know it means we have you really really not gone into the details of indirect tax once we have the thought process of value adding and problem solving i would say you know <clears throat> there are clients who want people like us provided our approach and i would say that is a very big differentiator uh, with us another very important differentiator is our contribution to sharing just yesterday i was talking to someone and he was saying me that any topic of gst if i google some people must have written some article in one of our uh, senior person has told that he has started googling that uh, gst on jda here gange that is how he started <laughs> googling because he know if for sure he'll get an answer so we've done tremendous <coughs> sharing it by way of writing articles uh, online answers shilpi shilpi leads the online answers forum in tax management india she leads it and is all goodwill this is all goodwill it's not like quid pro quo ke ye karenge to ye milega we do lot of seminars webinars for professionals today there is a event sudhir sir has come all the way from hyderabad we have written lot of books there are people where you know writing an article a discussion karna bahut badi baat hoti hai in our firm we talk about writing books and again this year we are planning about four five books so these are all i would say differentiators something that that uh, you know gives us an as an edge over others <clears throat> training departmental officers and that is where officers are calling us in most of the sessions that we give in pune the departmental officers make sure that they join the session and this is something that's continuing not just pune all over india because for them also there is phenomenal learning that's happening with what we are sharing <clears throat> embrace in diversity i would say our culture our values are no less than any top mncs we diversity among uh, the gender diversity among the religion diversity among the region or any other matter for that matter you know we are one of the very diversified firm and having a very inclusive working environment you know we have an open door system even in juridical and walk into the cabin of partner and speak and when i say inclusiveness we don't want to be working in a silos we have not been uh, working in silo it is more of hello am i audible i think there was there must have yes, been some yes. issue yes yes little off and on yes. there is some disturbance but continue uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah sorry yeah, sorry so i was just to say that uh, we don't want to be working in silos as uh, you know uh, or only for ourselves we work in collaboration which madhukar sir has mentioned inclusiveness for employees for clients for department for uh, other stakeholders there are a lot of collaborators with whom which we are working one very 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 important differentiator i would say is our ethics system uh, we have not paid bribe in last 35 years directly or indirectly there were professionals who 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 used to say being in tax practice how can you manage without paying bribe but we are flourishing in fact there are so many people uh, who joined our office just to see ki ye sab hawa mein ye sir aake seminar mein to bahut bolte hai ye nahi wo nahi actually hota hai kya <laughs> after working with us for the number of years now now they are our brand ambassadors ke nahi hota hai and it happens let me tell you ethical practice 
I have seen, I speak to so many people, interact with so many friends, colleagues. The same. But I can tell you that ethical practice is very rare, very, very rare to find, especially, especially uh, in our setup or the our sort of uh, work. But we have been successful in this one particular area. It takes a bit of pain, but the but the pride, feeling of pride when they get a refund for client of let's say two crores, five crores, without paying anything, I would say that sense of pride, you know, is more important than you know whatever the fees that we get from the client. One of the very big differentiators. We do not have any marketing partners. You know, I was just speaking to someone about uh, uh, last week, and they have partners in strategy, partner in marketing, partner in business development, partner in uh, you know structuring as sir has rightly mentioned you know we have a lot of work coming through the reference through the door this year for example we have got tata motors they have come through the door mahindra and mahindra gamescraft and many large organizations for which other organization would be in the queue and this is mainly solely because of our lot of good things that we have been doing over the years we have been recognized and looked up to you know we can we can actually say we are you know uh, people you know would be jealous of the growth uh, that's happening so we are being looked up to across a uh, nation and uh, recognized not just by the chartered accountants professionals even by the students community corporates as well as in the business community <clears throat> one of the very 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 important thing as a differentiator i would say is our focus on learning and development learning and development has been the core core of our culture so given a choice you know as to extra billing to be done for the client or to sit and learn and you know upskill we would always prefer the second one because if the second one is not there the first one is not going to you know go forward we will be uh, you know affecting our roots so what madhukar sir very rightly you know he used to mention in fact he still mentions is that if we continue to dig ourselves dig our well continue to you know uh, upskill ourselves then people have to come to us people they don't have a choice because we are the most skilled and the advice that we can give nobody else can give provided we continue to upskill ourselves so i think that is one of the core i would say very very deeply core part of our uh, culture and if that is not there i would say we would not be the same as what we are so that is something we have to sustain and retain over years to come create new so many in house leaders created when i came to pune or 5 6 years back i was very under confident i couldn't talk i couldn't talk in front of a cfo i couldn't talk in front of any you know businessman top person i used to fumble i would say thanks to culture and environment in the firm that i grew in the ladder and you know today i i i feel very confident about myself when i talk but this is i would say a credit goes to the entire culture that has been created in the firm and not just within the firm there are i would say hundreds of indirect tax leaders even outside the firm who were with us and today they are leading at various places so you know an environment to create leaders there is a saying that a leader is the one who creates another leader who also can create a leader so that is where our leadership is tested last course there can be many more things but another last thing of differentiator is building on the niche you know, continuous research and development uh, we could have we could have easily gone into various other fields of practices ke chalo client to aa gaya abhi kya ye client ko ye bhi kar dete hain wo bhi kar dete hain but we decided that you know we would stick to our niche and build on that by continuous research development innovation in fact this year we are focusing on customs and we are doing phenomenal tremendous research work on customs to see how we can build 
the area of customs foreign trade policy and uh, uh, tech based services so this has been i would say our differentiators i must have taken a bit more time than allotted so of course there there can be much more things to the list but these are the hardcore differentiators about us so madhukar sir you would like i like to add to it and surely anyone would like to put anything on chat box something else that you remember or you find out as a differentiator you working in the organization you have noted this a differentiator can you just put it in the chat box or just raise your hand for any thing that you would like to share yeah good thanks uh, ravi i don't see anything in the chat box i have to tell you one thing you know when uh, ravi five years back when he had uh, he wanted to uh, show something <clears throat> yeah tulsi ram says opportunity to lead is provided even during the article ship yes uh, and it's not only in practice you know we had one rank student from our office also uh, and he was so good in pre presenting i put him through a test and in the test i felt this boy is very good after that when he took a, re a session for the gst course i gave him a chance to take a session i told him you are better than all the partners in hld and today he teaches 1000 students at a time he teaches them ca fantastic uh, what uh, tulsi is saying is also correct i want to tell her briefly about uh, ravi when ravi went to pune i remember i told him he well, he said i want to have independent charge and i think i can manage he was not so confident i think sudhir created lot of leaders one of them was uh, you know so the first question i asked was to sudhir hey this boy i don't know whether he can actually do sudhir said certainly he will do well sir then when i spoke to uh, ravi i told him do you know marathi because uh, maharashtra a little clannish they want the marathi especially in the starting when we get small clients he said no sir i don't know marathi i said at least do you know gujarati he said sorry sir <laughs> i don't know gujarati also i said okay okay you must be having some relatives in pune at least you will have some start to talk he said sir i'm very sorry i know nobody then i just thought for a minute then i said we are doing all the things right so i told him go and read in pune read and share in pune so first year nothing his turnover must have been some pittance then we started slowly his seminar presence increased and i used to go quite regularly to support him in those days mainly in seminars and uh, after around 3 years i remember when i went to pimpri chinchwad branch i asked one of the old people who is my ardent fan i mean whatever happens he will miss everything but he listen to me so i asked him sir what do you think about ravi he said sir ravi sir ravi might have been some 32 or something that fellow is about 55 he said ravi sir is very good sir one of the best consultants in pune then i told ravi i don't think i need to come anymore this is what has come with from scratch in 3 years he just followed the culture and uh, today we have become big sometimes our we don't follow our culture we don't believe that the purpose vision is something important while uh, we all have discussed and spoken about few uh, characteristics aspect of the firm in the same point of time if you look at uh, being complacent is the uh, biggest challenge in any profession in any profession more so the way this entire uh, environment technology and things are changing here nobody can be complacent like what madhukar sir uh, in the beginning took example of uh, financial turmoil in the usa europe where we have been seeing some of the Uh, banks getting closed uh, continuous rising inflation leading to higher interest rate uh, negative growth uh, certainly you might have looked at in the recent past that uh, many 
जाइंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बीट मेटा और गूगल और अमेजोन ऑल हैव बीन ऑन द प्रोसेस ऑफ कटिंग डाउन द जॉब्स एटसेट्रा सो हाउ डज दिस एंटायर थिंग हैपन व्हेन एनीबडी इज एट देयर पीक देयर दे स्टार्ट बिकमिंग कॉम्प्लेसेंट एंड दे मे स्टार्ट टेकिंग सर्टेन एक्शंस व्हिच कैन टेक देम टू downward growth rather than to the uh, upward also what makes a challenging situation is because of the changing environment earlier people used to talk used to plan for maybe next 10 years plan 15 years plan 5 years plan but the way things are developing i don't see any visibility for anything after a couple of years with this entire situation if we look at uh, at the entire uh, uh, economy or the entire environment those who are resisting to change those people are certainly going to uh, fail or i would say fall faster but those who are keeping pace with the changes or maybe i would say going ahead of the changes certainly their future is always bright in fact a couple of uh, days ago you might have noticed on the your whatsapp message or uh, messages in this current uh, session of the parliament one proposal has been approved that foreign law firm can come to india and they can start practicing though as of now they are they have been entitled only for the limited areas for international merger acquisition dealing with the international laws etc and they are not uh, permitted to practice in the uh, indian laws but the way this entire economy is opening up across the globe there might not be uh, days behind where this competition which presently is only for, to a limited extent certainly it is going to increase day by day now when entire this thing is happening what we have looked at what ravi was also discussing that there is a difference between the professional firm versus business firm so when we look at the business firms we are not typically talking of a trading organization or manufacturing organization or so but the set of professional who instead of relying on the professional skill set try to get into adventurous way to Uh, develop or i would say grow their uh, practice or the business and in that zeal sometime people get into active solicitation advertisement etc in uh, very big way if you look at examples like for example earlier wherever we used to be maybe smaller town or uh, where we have never seen any advertisement of hospitals doctors used to be known because of the treatment what they used to give and people uh, uh, would have taken the uh, treatment from the doctors accordingly but now if we look at all these bigger corporates hotels they have entire full page advertisement similarly not only i am just giving example of hospitals but there could be uh, among the uh, our fraternity also where people might have looked at bypassing the code of conduct of icii by having other set of entities or so ultimately with an objective of active advertisement active solicitation and they have been spending quite a lot in this entire activity and when these are being spent certainly it results into a higher cost of servicing and ultimately at the end it is the client who has to pay certainly i would not comment on what others are doing right or wrong but yes that would lead to a increased competition where if if uh, we look at we have always heard out of the sight out of the mind so when the firms are putting active monetary effort in putting themselves on the limelight certainly it creates more competition uh, among the equivalent firms i think in last 3 months the biggest topic what we would have heard is the chat gpt now what this chat gpt i will not get into nitty gritties of chat gpt and i believe that many of us in some way or other 
would have read it, would have experienced it, would have come to know the pros and cons of this. So what we used to talk in the past that artificial intelligence is going to change the world and everything, which at those point of time we might have not experienced directly. But this chat GPT platform is giving us an opportunity as well as the challenge where the power of artificial intelligence we can uh, uh, directly feel. Now this entire development in the technology is actually changing the entire way in which work is getting executed. So whatever rep repetitive work which does not require the human skill set in terms of the knowledge or so, those things are getting done faster through these technological means and the speed at which these technologies are getting developed and adopted would certainly result in the people becoming outdated who are not keeping pace uh, with this technological update. What is the re what impact it is creating? So now when these open tools are available and these open tools when available, they have all type of intelligence. Actually, the difference between the knowledge, what was earlier and what is going to be in future, that is certainly going to narrow down. So if you look at the example, which probably many of you might uh, uh, have not experienced earlier when uh, Google etc were not that famous or where the internet was not that accessible. The knowledge people used to get from the books and in any profession, the value of those professional would have been higher. Now information are readily available. It is more challenge of uh, filtering the information which is correct and relevant versus the uh, irrelevant information. With this next technological advancement, this gap is certainly narrowing down day by day. What all those development in the economy or environment put a challenges or opportunity before all of us. First, certainly we have to be ready for change, embrace the change, be pioneer in accepting and bringing the change. While we are accepting and bringing the change, at the same point of time, it is very important what should not change. So what normally could situation could arise where we might be looking at changing the fundamentals of the profession rather than these things. Even after all these updates in the technology or so, there should not be any change in the fundamentals because ultimately, let us say if there is solution available with everybody. Where would client come? Where would client place a premium? So here, non-subject aspect, behavioral aspect, all these aspects will come into more picture where a professional who is trusted because of their impartial advice, their value addition, uh, their truthfulness, following the ethics. So if there are, let us say, two equivalent professional available in terms of the subject knowledge, but one professional is more trustworthy vis-a-vis -vis other. Client is always going to place a premium on that professional. So these fundamental aspect of trusting or making an entire organization and individual uh, behavior and culture in such a way that once we start respecting other, trusting other, then certainly we get also in return from the client. We have always looked at or being known as a transparent organization and that transparency is certainly a vital factor in coming many of the client to us because they know that these people will tell very clearly in terms of their view what they feel rather than keeping it uh, uh, under the carpet. So all these things place a very good premium for the professional firm. So how could we be differentiator in this entire journey is that we should not become complacent, be ready for changes, figure out what all changes we need to incorporate as an individual as well as as an organization. Also look at very importantly that, that those fundamentals which have been 
uh, always the uh, i would say backbone of our organization there should not be any change in those fundamentals because those fundamentals have always been rewarded in growth of our organization and certainly the value of all these fundamental is going to grow more with people coming on more or less equivalent platforms so far as knowledge related aspect is concerned so here each one of us has to rise has to move forward in this entire direction so that we all can co collectively uh, become part of a bigger brand and can contribute in the uh, bigger brand bigger organization so these are my some of the thoughts in this uh, particular uh, uh, topic mudukar sir over to you your uh, input also welcome thanks i think you have covered uh, most of the things i would have liked to say uh, very well there is also you know a very big risk which all businesses run if you look at the way the svc uh, episode happened or credit swiss happened these people have uh, not followed due processes all of us have learned when we did ca that uh, you know debt uh, debt equity should be a particular percentage it can extend to a particular percentage whereas these people have given this concept away what happened with adani also was same they have lost they have not displayed financial discipline and none of their financial advisors have told them that this is wrong what you are doing somebody could have advised somebody could have reported it if they had reported the you know the uh, regulators would have come in and they wouldn't have faced this terrible uh, difficulty remember when things uh, to go well it looks like you can get away with anything but actually the life is a big leveler the largest person can fall the same way they have risen so the anderson was like that enron was like that uh, and uh, nearer home we had satyam we had ilfs all these people if you look what happened the intellectuals in our from our profession only have not done their job they have not kept transparency they have become totally untrustworthy and have sold themselves to money big bonuses etc so i think i will move further since we are we have almost finished one hour and we are still half uh, have only half an hour <coughs> Ashish, you will be on, right? Ashish might have uh, important. Anyway, I will continue. No, sir, I am available. Yeah, if you can add to this, because I felt that there is something you can add here. I will uh, take two, three minutes, then you can add in one minute. Yes, sir, please. So, we, Ashish told, you know, that uh, what is the risk we are in? What is the type of environment which is environmental changes which are happening? Happening. what is happening in the consulting world what is happening in the financial world so how do we continue to be relevant and grow that is the question one of the ways we can do this is we can review our whys and i think all of you were asked to uh, you know read up on or watch the uh, video of simon sinek on start with why in fact i am going through a book called how and i have only finished part of it so i have not recommended it uh, as a total read as of now but i will and then what if you see we are pretty good at what today our programs uh, our checklists are all very good but whether we are very good at why why am i in hnb why am i doing this audit work why am i doing this appeal we have to have good and valid reasons whether i am an article qualified manager or partner 
the question of why should be very clear the question of how also will be very clear you will not do the work any way which way just to get the correct result you will do it the way it should be done and something more is there which i am going to take you through how our diverse trained and skilled workforce remember we have got everybody northeast southeast south total west east central north everywhere everywhere we have people and we have clients of all flavors we have clients of 50000 rupees uh, crore turnover and then we have 2 3 crores 5 crore turnover also everybody gets a flavor of our competence which should never come down not because of fees at least we have to also enlist our other professionals now it is time to get out of our shell we have got enough and more expertise specialization in indirect taxes and it is time for all the locations to slowly look at other areas i don't know which area and we have a very strict committee executive committee which is going to look at everything discuss everything and not going to happen just like anybody wants to start something new they can start but we have to enable new service lines for sure otherwise i think in 5 years time uh, ashish said 3 years thing can change i think up to 5 years we can manage because of our name whereas many people will simply disappear many professionals disappear from this lands today's landscape we have uh, possibly many more things which are relevant which will help us to grow and uh, we also need to look at new service lines as i said the ec with some of the younger partners who are interested in this particular area of growth uh, you all you have to do is contact uh, the ec members whenever they take up this issue you will be part of that brainstorming i want i thought that when i looked at this somehow maybe i am getting too old and not able to look in the future too much earlier i was known for looking into future very well i think i am losing my uh, edge so i thought uh, younger partner uh, can add to whatever i said ashish yes sir so uh, like uh, like rightly put up by you it is not that what we are doing is the only important that why is very important and uh, that adds a lot of value so sometime what happened that my senior has told me to do this work so i am doing but why i am doing it what is the objective behind uh, this particular thing so that thought process should get cultivated in our mind and that would give us clarity of thoughts for many of the things what we are doing and also one uh, very important aspect i would like to add uh, is that uh, in terms of whatever knowledge skill set etc we as a individual have to continuously look at uh, uh, all these soft skills be it the non subject be it the interpersonal skills behavioral aspect or so so these also i think makes a lot of difference in terms of uh, we being relevant and continue to grow because technology platform or i would say other people or competitors might not look at these things that uh, may be seriously so uh, as a individual always we need to look at uh, these non subject areas also very critically and strive to upgrade ourselves and learn always new positive habits because these things would certainly uh, make us distinct from uh, others so these are couple of other aspect uh, i would like to add but yes we have uh, other set of partners also maybe other uh, uh, senior uh, people with us who could also add some value in this any partners want to say something on this give us some tips need not be partners actually nowadays sometimes youngsters are faster than us yeah okay i would have liked to take some more time on this but uh, i may not be able to do have that possibility because of time constraint <clears throat>
So what is the game we are at? Till now we gave a background. I should have taken 30 minutes, but I think we have taken one hour. <laughs> so the kernel is going to be restricted. If you see this, this is the same format which is there in our purpose vision. So what we are looking at, building a wonderful culture. You heard Shilpi, you heard Ravi, you heard uh, Ashish. If you see commonly, everywhere we have been looked up for the culture we have built, but it doesn't mean our culture is complete. It doesn't mean that everybody is taking that culture. Everybody has adopted that culture. Everybody feels it's nice though. So what we are going to stress today is on the culture of the firm, what it should be and how we can win at this culture game. I'm suggesting something that building a wonderful culture is the game of our firm to ensure that we flourish for decades, not years. Where there is so much uncertainty, we will see that we flourish forever. And remember, culture, building a culture is not one day. <clears throat> Doing it today, no, it is a continuous one. From the start of building a culture in Hiregangi, when I started practice in a very small way, and then leapfrogging after 2002, starting branches. You know, on, uh, for 15 years, I had about 10, 12 employees. After that, now we are 400. And so many partners, many of them far, far more competent than me. With that, to enable the future branding, it should not, brand should not die with me. Or if I leave the firm, it should not die. That's the reason why we have done the transit to HNDA. It is an organized way of ensuring that the legacy flourishes or legacy is made. Legend, we should become legends in the professional world. On the base of this is not what others tell you, but what I agree or I understand and I adopt for myself, which is self-governance. This is not something, okay, uh, uh, Krupa Madam said, uh, told me this, so I am going to do this. Or Akbar told me this, I am going to do this. Mahadev told me this, I am going to do. No. Everywhere you can ask why to yourself and not convinced, ask them also. We want to establish values beyond code of conduct. People should not look at being able to say that as per the rules, it's okay. You have to look beyond the rules. Values should be beyond the code. Hardly any firm in India has a code of conduct signed by everybody and also openly shared in the website. We have done this. All of you have supported it. this. This is a vital differentiator if you ask me. We have become accountable now to the whole world because the world can read our code of ethics and say you are not following this. Culture, how important it is. We, the partners, know that ultimately our success depends on our employees, 100%. We can't, uh, we can't have work in isolation. And you all have helped us by working hard, working smart. And you have been really pushing the firm forward by effectively delivering. Without you, we would not be able to compete or achieve our objectives. Our purpose, vision, mission, values, and our service are important, but they are ultimately useless without an engaged team. Not a team, engaged team, very important word. The firm culture is only sustainable. Competitive advantage that is completely within our control. Otherwise, you have heard from Ashish how much outside disruption can be there. Culture is not an initiative. Culture is the enabler of all initiatives is what Larry Sen says. Maybe some of, some of you can look at Googling and seeing what how culture makes a difference. I want to ask four leaders who have been informed in advance to share one aspect of our culture you feel is most important and try not to repeat uh, what others have said. 
I will start with, uh, I think, uh, Arjun, then Nikita. I don't know. Uh, others, I can't uh, remember also. <laughs> yes, sir, Arjun. Yes, sir. Uh, the, uh, the most important culture uh, what has been cultivated for the challenge, sir. Uh, we should always focus on contributing rather than uh, looking from the perspective of what we receive. Uh, which is very much uh, uh, important uh, for uh, getting uh, knowledge and also being a leader. So the culture is to contribute, share, and uh, be selfless. Uh, not be too much selfishness or self-centered. Always look for uh, from the perspective of giving and sharing and helping others. Which is which I think uh, significant uh, culture in our firm. Thanks, Arjun. I think uh, all of you know Arjun is uh, 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 recently elevated, and uh, he has made a good name like Ravi. He is following Ravi's philosophy. He is teaching, speaking. Uh, Ravi was was an introvert. He is partially an introvert now. And I think uh, Arjun also shares that. But that does not mean he is not reaching his goals. He will reach his goals more solidly than the extroverts. Nikita? Uh, uh. Yes, sir. So the culture of trust and belongingness uh, is something that we have here, which I feel is missing or Partly, partly there in a lot of organizations. Irrespective of that, we have trust and it is not that trust of senior, junior and something like that. Trust the client has in us, the trust client has in the even everybody from an article to a partner. Plus the trust we have in ourselves and uh, the team. So if uh, the video that you had shared, uh, good leader is somebody uh, where people follow and even if you Try to bring a community where people, if somebody is uh, falling down, others are there to pick him up. So that level of trust and belongingness that comes together and it is there in our culture. So that is what I feel. Thanks, Nikita. Tulsi? Uh, yes, sir. So one thing which resonates with the culture which I have seen in our form is this open door policy. Wherein, uh, even the article level uh, individual will be given an option to uh, challenge the status quo. Uh, well, uh, I, I would put it in this way. So I would rather be a face of a growing organization rather than being a tail of a well-established organization. So wherein I'll be a, just a process. I'll not be given an opportunity to add value to an organization. So wherein in our firm, so there is an equal opportunity for each and everyone to contribute to add value. And at the same time, it's a win-win for the organization and for an individual as well. So that is something which excites me to stay uh, in our firm, sir. Thank you. I think that's a very uh, important aspect because you see, uh, Tulsi is academically very good, but his passion and his, I would say, like, hunger to learn new things is amazing. And I certainly see him as a, uh, you know, a partner who is going to significantly contribute to our office. Of course, he has to go through the grind of everything, criteria and all that. But I see him as a certainly somebody. I don't know where he'll sit, whether in Delhi or Bangalore, but he will be there in the top. I can see it. Next is uh, Nayan. Nayan is another person who almost is a partner because he has been running Uttarakhand on his own. Ashish has simply forgotten about it. <laughs> uh, yes, Nayan. Sorry, so these are very kind words, sir. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this, uh, based on what you have said, uh, this I am at this juncture, juncture and you are able to say all of these good things for me because I was given this opportunity uh, when... I would say that, yes, there were many uh, weaknesses that I had and uh, many things that I would uh, need to learn to be in this position. But 
the leaders, the seniors and everyone still accepted this and gave me this opportunity. So that's yes, this culture allows everyone to get their opportunities as long as they are able to show initiative, they are able to show that uh, willingness to do it. And another thing I would share is uh, there is that openness so that if you are able to come up with initiatives, if you are able to come up with ideas, there is no one in the senior uh, uh, part leaders, there is no one in the leaders who will shut you off or who will say that no, uh, we will do what we want to do. There is clear openness and uh, the ideas flow, the ideas are accepted uh, and uh, it is very good for everyone in the firm to be able to see uh, themselves in the leadership soon enough as long as they have that willingness to work, as long as they are not an employee, they are uh, they see themselves as a contributor. So there is a very good position for you in the firm. Uh, and obviously, all the additional factors set by uh, uh, Arjun, Nikita, Tulsi, they all add up. Uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you, sir. Fantastic, Nayan. Thank you very much. Uh, I, we will move on. So now we come to what, uh, uh, you know, the why is. If you remember, Ashish was emphasizing on this. Let's see where our whys are captured. I'm not going to talk too much on this. I'll just show you. Remember, we always look at, uh, we are looking at ourselves as forward looking. And right from beginning, any branch starting, the instructions given are the same. How they are perceived and how they are followed is a little different. We always say any branch, any division, any new area, knowledge will be the first. It may take one year, two years for you to establish your competence there. You cannot become an expert in one or two years, but you can be understood as a fairly knowledgeable person in that area. Then expertise comes with experience and other things. So if you see the why, our purpose, if you look at some keywords in the purpose, adding value has been told many times, but the way we looked at look at any client or we look at the government or we look at the department is that we will serve you. You may be surprised. Why am I saying serving the department? Remember that there are a lot of tools. One is I only serve. And one I serve without distinction. So one of the things we always thought we keep, we, you know the way I treat the department. However, one of the areas which for the last 25 years we have been focusing on is training the department officers. I have trained the commissioners of the country. I think in 2011, I only got that thought process and many people said nobody will attend. But then we had locations about seven locations average 20 20 to 25 some deputy commissioners also were there or joint commissioners but all central officers so we trained some 343 of them everywhere we went to uh, uh, mumbai we did it in uh, baroda we did it in kolkata and the regular training of officers in nations. I remember they used to pay 500 rupees. I used to really see, think, why are they giving this 500 rupees? And they were very particular not to leave it. They'll send a car, spend 5,000 rupees to deliver that 500 rupees. I used to tell them, don't, uh, you know, you will make take one hour to make the voucher and pay me. Let me go back. I can earn that much in my office. Next time I'll take it. So they used to be particular. They'd say, sir, have a coffee. I'll give you that money. But remember, what was remembered by everybody was the service we did. We actually used to go there with an open mind, not treat them, treat them like corrupt people, but people who want to learn. Maybe out of 60 people who were there in the class, only 10 were there who were interested in learning. But what impression we created was totally different. And this was duplicated, replicated in Hyderabad, 
recently in in uh, gurgaon i think gurgaon people will agree the department is actually become respectful for to them and how do they identify them by the blue ribbon we wear of course that blue ribbon will change slightly it will still be blue but the name will change so our purpose is very clear that we serve and our vision is also very clear we are not people who want to sit in the back of the class we want to be in the front of the professionals but like nikita said we want to be trusted and we want to ensure that when we work for anybody whether it's the department or somebody who is paying us lakhs of rupees or somebody who is paying us a few thousands or not paying at all the delivery will be excellent that's what we are looking at which i think many of the partners have yeah somebody says you are re still remotely training the department i have seen uh, handbook uh, that is a passive way of looking at it nayan handbook of gst audit uh, i had not much of a role i think but anyway rupa and uh, i think uh, uh, murthy sir did a good job let me go again out of this uh, sorry as some technical stuff is happening let me get back yeah so some more wise see this is not something i manufactured today i have taken our own vision statement purpose statement which was discussed with uh, many of the leaders most of the all leaders i would say and also partners and we developed a new or a slightly abridged or uh, updated more current vision so if you look here why why we are doing what we are doing we are here to provide consistent quality service and what does it mean in normal course it exceeds the expectation of the client at the end of the assignment client should say good job we don't want more than that we don't want him to publicize get us more clients which may happen by default normally these many people say many of the professionals say clients will never refer another person for us client referral is one of the most proud achievement of ours large amount of client referral why one of the ways we got into this profession otherwise i was a very small proprietary unit was to develop knowledgeable and committed professionals as leaders and we i think we have done a reasonably good job on this how many of you all are there already in this group we have leadership material maybe 200 and leaders maybe about 50 60, 60 only 30 40 will be average so many of you saw this uh, why video of simon sinek you know how to practice powerfully and how to be powerful so i want to know what is that which inspired you or touched you in his video i would like how many of you have seen this video would be the first question please raise your hands how many of you have gone through this video not just looked at it huh? not opened it and closed it how many of you have gone through the video you can say i think nayan you have already covered mm, let me see who are lakshman can you tell us something which touched you then mahadev after that nayan uh, sorry lakshman what is that which touched you uh, sir the thing is we should be surrounded by the people who believe what we believe actually it is not that uh, we do what we believe the people who is uh, with us they should also believe in the same thing mm. this is on the concept of birds of the same feather flock together so if i spend time with gundas every evening i have one adda where all gundas will come i also go there what will be my behavior i'll also become a, that type of person but if i seek out intellectuals i seek out achievers i seek out leaders like join young leaders club join rotary contributory lions then what happens even i get that particular what i would say characteristics from them very good uh, lakshman anybody else 
who watched that video, Mahadev had put up his hand, I don't know. Suddenly has put off. Yeah. Mahadev? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, the one which was inspiring for me was to understand the importance of why. So he says that uh, the organizations uh, who are very good in uh, knowing what to be done, how to be done, so they are not the most successful. So uh, the organization who are very clear on why they are doing what they are doing. So they are the ones who are very successful. So it is very important for us that to understand why we are doing something. Yeah. This can start from the purpose statement which we have. Anybody else who has read it? If nobody else has read it, please do go through that. Sorry, watched it. Please go through that particular video. It's very useful. I think uh, Gagan is saying something. Let me see if I can catch that uh, chat in the chat. The how can be replicated by your competition, but your why will make you alive, different and preferred. 100% I agree with you. 100%. And this is why we should ensure that everybody asks why in this organization. Doesn't matter if the partner has to answer a few questions. Doesn't, doesn't matter if the manager has to answer the questions. We should always have why. In fact, one of the most successful, I would say, tactics I have used to reduce failures in my life by 95% is this why because if i have enough reasons for the why then i will never fail because one of the reasons at least will get fulfilled for example why am i doing this i'm 63 years old i'm moving out of the organization slowly i'm only with going to be in uh, chairman emeritus sounding board but you know i am very uh, what I, what i would say i can poke into anything that is my capacity or I don't know if it's a failing or a good thing, but it's there. Quality is something which I can't look, uh, overlook. Ethics is something I can't overlook. So I'm going to also be the oversight uh, body till I'm active. The point in which in this is that I'm doing this video because of that. I'm doing this video because I'm very, I like to do videos. I like to enthrall the audience. I like to see audience who is getting some advantage out of me and I'm making a difference in their life. I like to do this because in preparing for this particular session, I learned a few things which normally I wouldn't have. Like this, if I have to say, there are so many reasons why I am doing this session and therefore I will never fail in this particular attempt. I'll always win, but there will be situations where I will lose and I'll learn from them. In fact, I think I am the biggest failure in h &D in many ways, but I learned from some of them or most of them. Let's say the next important point of how, why all of you have to see the video, you will get enough insights if you watch the video. How to be response, how? Again, in our uh, mission, you see the, the uh, why was consistent quality and develop leaders, right? How was to be responsive? When the client calls me, when the employee cries out that he is being differentiated, when he's not happy, I have to be responsive to him. When the departmental officer scolds us, we have to be responsive. What is it that is a problem? Maybe the system is so bad. Many of many 99.99% of the professionals say system is corrupt. But what did we do? We said we'll, we will work in honesty. We will not pay bribes, but we teach the department. Anil went to Vizac. I think when he went first time, nobody knew him in the department at all. But in four years time, the commissioner was regularly calling him for clarification. This achievement has been done by many people. Ten people at least I can think of in our office in a big way. The top officer will call you. And he will, they will be, you know, such officers will never think of doing anything against you. Remember, we go and represent them also before them. So he will take a way out. I will give you an example. Sometime back in tribunal, maybe about 10 years back, we had a 
we had very strict uh, tribunal members and i remember the leading law firm in india and the leading lawyer in india who practices even in supreme court in the tribunal he used to be lambasted and our office representative on the same matter would get 100% stay 100 crore matter pre deposit 30% 2 crore matter which our person argues 100% stay Un unbelievable it was what is the impact we are making on the officers because we are honest we are straight we are helping we support the uh, tribunal we support the court that is the way we are we are re very responsive to everybody and in if you look at our mission we have also put versatile this is a quality which even the institute of chartered accountants has not included into its qualities but then institute of chartered accountants you know it's a it's a dinosaur body by the time they think of making a change the world has changed uh, anyway less talked about that the better but in our vision we have realized that versatility or adapting to changes is now everybody's requirement we have to be versatile tomorrow every all the compliance will be automated and there will be a tool available at a gst uh, network or and straight away everybody will use that tool nobody will come to us possible we also have put in our mission that we will give practic practical solutions, not some bookish solutions. We will look at what is actually happening and give them practical solutions. Many times we come across uh, decisions which are not in line with the law, not in line with the constitution, whereas they are within the law. And therefore, even Supreme Court will say yes to that. But at such time, we have agitated through representation. Recently in our um, in our the celebrations, uh, Prabhu Deva from Akshar, uh, Akshaya Foundation, Swami, he is a Swamiji. He sent us a mail saying that decades back, when we had, uh, you know, dozens of show cause notice for our midday meal, I remember you resolved it in two months. So we could have said, OK, you got uh, dozens, dozens of uh, appeals in Tamil Nadu. We, we will start replying. We could have made a wing for reply to Akshara Foundation, you know, uh, show cause notice. After that, it would go to Karnataka everywhere. What we did is we made very strong template and asked everybody to reply on the same way. All, uh, you know, 25, 30 people, uh, centers, in Tamil Nadu, they started giving the same reply and we went, we represented to the board. And for our good luck or the universe helping us, the officer who got it, he was a bhakt, he was a corrupt fellow, but he was a bhakt of Akshara Foundations. And what happened? Within one and a half months, <laughs> we got a notification for that midday meal. And Prabhudeva himself was so shocked. He said, I thought that uh, you had told me five years. <laughs> I said, I had also told you that it is possible that representations are followed up, but I told you that I will not follow. In fact, in his thanks, he said, Madhukarji himself went to Delhi. So I clarified to him, I never went to Delhi. I never spoke to anybody in Delhi. It was only the drafting which was done. So we were practical and also we solved the problem in such a short time. Recently, uh, I think Rupa is attempting to do that for education where a lot of notices are coming. <clears throat> this is all how, how we should be. So one of the points which is also important is I will not spend much time on this because this is something which we have spent lots and lots of time together where we say that just providing our service is not OK. The way we provide the service, the how of the service is very important. So if I look at it, this is something we are all committed to and we read it every day. It's on our laptop or on our in our offices. I hope everybody has the latest one. 
in their um, in every room i would say of the office the last one is the only one which i think we have not done too well you know we have had uh, uh, allocation of 2% of our gross and it need not be really hard and fast location uh, you know location wise though we prefer that it is location wise so that it spreads everywhere all our centers all our locations are free to spend after identifying a certain uh, institution there are some small rules which are all embedded in the code of ethics now how you can contribute and it's not a small amount next in the year to come i think it will be 70 lakhs that's the amount we can spend on education if it's something extra partner will chip in maybe the articles will chip in i had one boy from northeast who was uh, you know not from any great uh, rich family and all that he got no money from home at that time i remember uh, article ship uh, stipend was 5000 rupees and that boy was giving 100 rupees to uh, empower education foundation i can remember him because for him 100 rupees is much more 10 lakhs contribution by me at that level he was giving fantastic but i think this is the area which i am looking at when you see yourself just look at the other side how lucky you have been you you should be grateful that you had such luck in your life but many times we keep saying i am i am having lot of problem the fact that you are having problem in studying for ca itself is full of gratitude you were able to come up to ca level you are look you are having problem at the top level only you are in 1% of the population you are having a problem you are already there 1% that is something which we should be thankful for and i feel that more and more of the people in hnda should look at doing something for others doing something for yourself is what every ordinary person does when you do something for others that is what is actually going to make you a complete woman or a complete man this is what i think okay it's personal if you don't do it it's okay i think but we can also look at other areas for example i am looking at english i find in our own offices english is very bad so one of the things we can do is maybe teach english in the nearby government schools no money nothing they will not also give you any money they will not give you too much respect also but leaving all that aside you can decide okay every saturday i will spend this much time in the school or every friday i will do it whichever day i am sure your partner will make give you the permission and you can do it in a nearby school don't do something which you have to go two hours travel and all that because i think time is the biggest and also making people employable and making people who are employed more employable and we have a budget for this also you, you can select a school and it need not be the partner who selects any one of you i would say the qualified and leaders you focus on this articles first you get qualified then you can do this this is what i feel is important because the how is embedded in the our core values and if we embed these core values nobody as it is you are seeing that we get work from the uh, from clients who have been with big four who have been with large lawyering organizations it's not that we are, we know more than the lawyering organizations let me assure you our knowledge of the legal side of uh, gst is only about 20 25% today whereas the clients are coming out of firms where it is more than 50% why the why is embedded in our strength on the why and our strength on the how some expectations which we have from you many of you who are new joinees you would have seen part of this because this is all part of the introduction video you could say and the time of uh, induction what i would say is the code of ethics which you have signed is not a dead letter in real form and spirit if you go through it and see 
it will make if we follow the code of ethics in spirit. Let me assure you, it will be very short time before we become the the preferred firm. Already we are preferred. We'll become the preferred firm. Then you don't have to do even the little marketing you do. Most of us don't like to do it, but when the client calls, we prepare and go. Sometimes uh, we send the presentation to them, etc. That also we may not have to do. One of the other things very important is move from entitlement to serving. Today, uh, everywhere we go, I think uh, Ashish also mentioned. Let's not look at what we will get. Be the net giver. I think that's what he said. And while doing all these, let us be res respectful, whether we are talking to an accountant or a junior in our office. Let us be respectful. Being respectful to the boss, big boss. Is not what determines you. Being respectful to the office boy is what determines, differentiates you. And be fair in everything. What I'm doing, is it fair? I got this thought process from my school itself. And then it was uh, further, it became ingrained after I went to Rotary. They always look at whether it is fair for the all. And they look at all in a very big way. And since we are in a profession, unless we are knowledge hungry, not OK, I will uh, I will read for five, ten minutes and then I'll lose interest. Then I'll go onto my mobile and get lost in it for three hours. That's not the way you have to have discipline. And one of the ways to get discipline is put goals on yourself. I will read for this much time. I will watch this video. Another thing which I find which has helped us a lot and which can help us even more. Don't try to suppress something. Don't have private conversations in between. I will talk to these three people only. I want to only get mentored by this person. Other person, if he comes, I'll put objection. This is not the way we can grow. We can grow only if we are open. We may not like that person, but that person is above us. Let's accept his thought that he is better than us and I can learn something from him. Many of us are having you know, blind spots and uh, limitations, not because of anything else, because of the environment, and it's OK. I can succumb to limitations or I can overcome them. We have. Uh, what I would say, the good articles on empowerment in our blog. Those of you who have never gone should go there. At least this overcoming limits article you should go through. It's very much in detail and you can get over anything. There is nothing which you cannot get over. And this we have demonstrated in uh, with not one, maybe 20 people within our organization. When we are in the workplace, you know this, we spend so much time. If you look at your waking waking hours, all each and every one of you, you spend more time in office than with your friends, family or sleep. Which is a fact. Then should we not see that this workplace is so wonderful that we enjoy coming to it? And in case there is anything happening. And they will be. Then resolve it by working above the line. Now working above the line. There is also there are some articles you can Google it also, and that is very simple. When anything happens, I have a choice. I can be, I can give excuses, I can give uh, blame somebody else for it, or I can become responsible and accountable. When something is not working as per my requirements or my liking, I can get upset and uh, angry. Or I can be calm and pleasing. The choice is with whom? Choice is with us. This may be something which we would expect from every one of you, and this is very important. <laughs> In one of the earlier slides, you would have seen we want to out behave every professional firm in India. If I have to say in one word, we want to out behave every professional firm in India in line with our culture. That's it. So if you are taking something back home, this is something which I would like you to take back home. 
wisdom from the past i hope there are hundreds of quotes which you can go to socrates aristotle uh, both of them maybe 3000 years back what they said if touches me as something which is totally relevant today the one one thing is the shortest and surest way to live with honor is to be in reality with what we appear to be for example if i many of you have done coaching with me when i am doing coaching with me or when you have come to report on an assignment i am a totally different animal in coaching what is the objective my objective is to serve you when it comes to a report finalization i will look at whether you have followed the sop whether you have followed the checklist and why have you missed out some point where with my experience i could catch 10 points why have you missed out this important point if you have checked this particular thing you have done this so there i am the strict to vigilant boss in when i mentor you i be, i become somebody who will support you who will listen to you something you can say in te- uh, two minutes uh, you will tell in 15 minutes i'll listen fully i will not interrupt you whereas in the office when i'm the boss when you start your stories i'll say i'm sorry don't give me all this bullshit and i will tell you what it is are you getting what i'm saying be what you want to be what is that role you are playing be that if you are a manager uh, don't become a person who listen to excuses make people accountable be accountable yourself that's what socrates is saying even today very relevant what does aristotle say he says something which is very important flash in the pan don't be a flash in the pan doing one job well one excellent opinion i think long back when you were looking at quality uh, venkat from hyderabad venkata prasad he told sir what is the point in te- you know if you give me 10 days time i'll give you a, a gem of a presentation but i have only 2 days time to file that appeal but in the 2 days time can i do something for as well as possible i will ensure that almost all my opinions maybe one exception would be there will be done in a good way and how i will do that whatever i do i will repeat it the quality basic quality will never come down so what aristotle said is ex- excellence is not one individual act but a habit you get used to giving quality work very very important these are all hows okay how we are looking at giving service this particular uh, website is something which i have not gone through i am planning to go through but i got this book i think namrata bought this uh, ordered this book 2500 rupees i think she paid for it uh, quite expensive but i thought that after reading 10 pages of the book i felt my god i got back 10000 rupees worth in this first three pages so i am taking it now to bombay today i am going to bombay for one week i am taking a small holiday and i am going to read that book you may like to re- look at that book if you want it paperback copies are available tell your partner get it keep it in your library what brian tracy you know he is a person who has written Uh, what i'll say best seller motivating books fantastic small books i really enjoyed his books what he talks is that culture is about performance and making people feel good about how they contribute to the whole many of you today while listening to me itself you must have thought ah oh, this i am already doing this i can do this particular internal dialogue you had indicates that you are on the right path and all the best is what i can say in the end we will end up with taking one take away from every person who has attended today's session so i would uh, i would like why is this not moving i don't know why it's not moving anyway please put your take aways what is it that you learned today and 
which you will implement in your life. One item, only one short thing. Don't say everything and all that. Don't say ethics and all. Put specific what you will do. Put it in the chat, please. And with that, I will wish all of you a wonderful weekend. I hope it has started well. Please go ahead. Please go ahead and put in the chat. No need to share, but everyone should put in the chat. And Kokila, please put the chat together. Is there some program or something which can put all the chats together? Kokila or Vignesh? Please put in the chat. We'll read out a few of them. Create a team with same belief. Yes, very important. And that's what we are trying to do. We are trying to do this. Oh, there are some people even now coming in. Very good. Janaganamana time, they are coming in. Or maybe they lost connection. Be a net giver. Fantastic. For the society, another one is just be a net giver everywhere. Learn even from enemies. Fantastic. Be a net giver in any relationship. The golden circle. Why, what and how? Yes, Ramya. You didn't speak to implement in work and personal life. Fantastic. Adaptability to change. Leela, who is the future uh, leader at uh, Vizac. One thing I learned is the session is self-belief. Rahul says, serve others. Yes, that's at the basic of our thought process. To create timelines for myself each day to complete the task, personal and work went. Fantastic. Taking charge of yourself, it is actually. Personal success precedes professional success, 100%. And whatever professional success, whatever you learn for profession will be useful in your life also. Never stop learning, learn from even small things. The best way we can be is by being real in our position. Yes, very good. Why we do is more important than what we do. Yes, Vishnu. Gratitude is to be acknowledged. Yes, the more you acknowledge, the more power you will get. It's like... Every person you, uh, you know, you, you share your gratitude with will give you, it's like a plug into a socket. And the nearer they are, like our parents, our best friend, if you, if you do this with them, you will be a very powerful person. Good culture in workplace, uh, prompts, transparency or something was there. Uh, social responsibility, very good. I think uh, when I look at the answers, it looks like most of you have got many things from this. Excellence should be a habit. Yeah, that's what uh, Aristotle said, and uh, we also believe that. Reading, listening, motivational videos to inspire internally. Yes, Kokila. The way she is giving you one more way. Anything you get a doubt on, watch a few uh, videos. Great people speak about it and share and all most of them are available. All of them are available free. You don't have to pay for this. I, of course, pay for some of the coaches to coach me in some way. Now, the latest is I'm getting mentored by Robin Sharma. Not that personally comes and talks to me, but there is a I've joined a mentoring session which will last one year. So I'm getting coached in some way online by him. My circle can create a lot of difference in my life. I wish I need to choose it. Well. Very important. Birds of the same feather flock together. I think somebody had shared that also. Giving importance to morals and ethics is the basic. Doesn't matter if you are not so successful. Excellence is a habit. Very good. Yeah. Open for all and listen to all to gain more knowledge. Yes. Not only for that, to become a great human being. Importance of why and how, yes. That is why we say, you know, when you join your articles in your induction talk itself, we talk about this. Why? Ask why. Why am I doing this? Why did I join HNDA? Why should I continue in HNDA? Why I, after my articles, would it be better if I go for something else or why I should continue here? Never stop learning and importance of why. Fantastic, Harsh. So I think uh, we have spent a uh, little extra thanks to the prompt by, uh, I think, uh, Meghna says, Meghna, my daughter-in-law's name also is Meghna. 
win win situation. Create win 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 situation, Meghna. Four wins should be there in anything. Don't restrict it to only two people, make it four. Then you will find many people will win. Many sectors will win. Yeah, Niklesh has written it correctly. Four wins. Wonderful. And thanks to all of you who are here for giving me, I think, uh, additional about 40 minutes time. And I hope this whole session was really worth it for you. Thanks a lot. Be passionate. Change with times to be the thought leader in your community and in your town and in the profession. Thank you, everybody.